लैपसी नहीं हो अब लुक नहीं है अब कोई कहीं जाना पड़ा चीन मारूं ना वानी अब इस तो कूलो सुलो को बैठा कौन जा अब जाना पड़ा जब वानेरा जान दहरी लुक यो अन्य देवरा निला बिन अगर अगर बारा लेग दे वानेरा अन्य पहल पढ़ाई स्वर्य आइले तो अब सब वो जाने हैं तो गई इंचा दक्का दाले बस इं When Hira Gharti of Agyoli Village Development Committee of Nawalparasi District was learning the Nepali alphabet, her youngest daughter was studying in class 5. Now her daughter is already in class 9. Although Hira was deprived of education as a child, she has learned a lot from the adult literacy classes. Daughters were not allowed to go to the school at the time she was growing up. They were only expected to do household work. Parents saw no point in educating their daughters as they would soon leave for their husbands' homes. Instead, parents married their daughters off at an early age, believing it would earn them religious merit. A UNESCO report suggests that this mindset is one of the main reasons why only 35% of Nepali women are literate, despite their larger proportion in the total population of Nepal. Whenever she saw other people reading, Hira also wished she could read. अने ती पत्र वाले फाल नहीं तो क्या वो वाले अने पत्र वाले टीवी राख था ही चाहिए ना तेरे तीखे के पढ़े रोल आया रा पढ़े जाए कोई तेरे तो तो मुंह तो क्या हमने But things changed over time. People began to realize the value of education. Daughters and daughters-in-law learned to read and write. Adult literacy classes were introduced in Harmasi village. Hira and other women whose desire for education had long been suppressed either convinced their family members or sneaked out of their homes to take the adult literacy classes. <laughs> She continued to take the classes despite her husband's opposition. She was one of the best students in her group, but it took her a while to learn to write the first letter of her name. Thirty women, including Hira, took the adult literacy classes for three months. These classes have changed their lives. The women became friends over time. They followed the example of other women around them and formed a savings group to support each other in times of need. In this way, they created a small fund in their own village. These women formed Sahara Women's Savings and Credit Cooperatives under the leadership of Agyoli Community Resource Library. It has an office in the library building. Thanks to the library, the women who were once illiterate were now making financial transactions on their own. 
So far, almost 600 women have gained literacy through this community library. The library runs literacy classes even in the remote hill areas. Agyoli Community Resource Library was established with the support of Rural Education and Development, Read Nepal, in 1999. Read Nepal works to develop remote villages through education. It has supported the establishment of 49 community libraries in 37 districts. Reed is enhancing people's educational, social and economic status through these libraries. Reed also has supported to run outreach services through community libraries. Agyoli Community Library and Resource Centre is supporting three school libraries as its outreach centres. Fourteen such outreach centres established so far through community libraries are able to serve communities who are unable to come to the library. Activities run by the community libraries have allowed people to learn about the outside world. Earlier, Sanish Chari Choudhury of Bacholi in Chitwan did not even know the name of her village. But now she is the chairperson of the Drainage Management Committee, which works to promote hygiene and cleanliness in her village. She can recount the expenditures of the drain construction off the top of her head. <laughs> The library should be useful, not only for educated people, but also for newly literate ones. When Juani Community Library was established, many people who had only just learned to read in adult literacy classes also visited the library. The library users gradually came together and introduced new programs for such beginners. <laughs> यहाँ पुस्तकालय समान आउने र एक्सपोजर विजिट के रूप में र वहाँ लाइटें आज ये उटा सम वाला ही बोली आपके सम वाला ही परसी आपके सम वाला ही तो इसे जो एक्सपोजर विजिट के रूप में आएंगे लेकिन यहाँ लिया है पर चाहिए नहीं यहाँ तो जाना होने रही था यहाँ तो पढ़ना सही नहीं हमरे लाइक रही था now they use the library regularly. The library has not only supported their work, but also improved their habits. Uncle 
There are more than 500 women groups in the 37 districts where the community libraries are running. These women save a small amount of money every month. Hira is a member of the Sahara Women's Group which has accumulated almost 100,000 Nepali rupees. The group members can use the money when they need it. Hira's buffalo has given birth to a new calf. Hira did not have the money to buy fodder for the buffalo, so she borrowed money from the group. After discussion, the group decided to lend her 10,000 rupees. In addition to the regular monthly savings, they also collect money by singing Deusi Bhailo during the Tihar festival. They perform song and dance at weddings and naming ceremonies and deposit the collected amount in the group savings. The women also collect funds by organizing welcome programs for villagers returning home from jobs in foreign countries. The group invested 30,000 rupees from their savings in constructing a waiting shelter in the village. Hira's husband, who had initially opposed her decision to take adult literacy classes, has now changed his attitude. He believes that education can improve life for everyone. Through collective efforts, they managed to solve small problems on their own. For example, there was no grazing ground or sufficient fodder for the cattle in the village. So the women's group started growing grass for their cattle. They believe that their exposure to the outside world has made them socially active. Women like Hira have had to struggle to receive an education, so they appreciate its value. <laughs> They have realized that education brings knowledge. So, they are willing to give their daughters as broad an education as they want. Hira has influenced her daughter. Her daughter also uses the community library now. Hira is used to reading and visiting the library. Although she has many household responsibilities, she finds time to visit the library at least twice a week. She borrows the books that interest her and reads them at home. Education is light. It is the surest means to lead society in the right direction. Education also allows us to lead a simple but meaningful life. That's why she has grown more particular about discipline. Hey, 
This is a lesson for those who ignore public notices despite being able to read. Hira not only follows the rules put up in public places, she also follows all the library rules. She is very happy that she is able to read.